Hey everybody, Stu with Ukulele Zen. This lesson I'm going to teach you an easy chord introduction for the jazz standard All of Me. So easy to get started with this. I'm going to teach you the basic chords, some simple chord embellishments, and most importantly I'm going to share with you an important syncopated rhythm that anybody who's interested in playing jazz and swing should know. So hope you'll get your ukulele and stick around. Let's jam. As you can see I'm outdoors. I hope you don't mind a little duet with the crickets. The baby is sleeping. So here we are. Let me know what the weather is like in your part of the world in the comment section below. The introduction for this song is really the same as the last eight bars of the song. It's the part that goes like this. Why not take all of me? Very common thing that jazz cats do on a gig is just to look at a song and instead of starting from the beginning, you start from the last four or in this case eight bars of music. I'm going to take you through the chords in a beginner friendly way. Keep in mind if you'd like to learn the full version that I played in last week's video, check the links below to my Patreon page because I'm going to be teaching some more advanced ideas for the chord intro and also I'm going to teach you the full solo that I improvised using plenty of licks from Mr. Django Reinhardt and other jazz concepts. If you haven't seen that video click right here. Last week's video we played All of Me. There's a link in the description below. I showed you the basic jazz strum, one of the foundational rhythms that really everybody should know if you're into playing swing music. Let's get into this intro. I'm going to now play through it straight rhythm, join in with me, and I'm going to teach you chord variations and the cool syncopated rhythm. Are you ready? Let's do it. A one, two, three, four, a one, two, here we go. practice that. You may like to do it slower of course. If you had the Vidami video looper you could just use your feet, slow it down, make a loop and practice it. Okay there's a link to that pedal in the description below. Now let's add a very important rhythm. Whenever we're learning rhythms you don't want to bypass the most important thing about learning rhythms. It's counting them and clapping them. If you don't clap and count them, the body doesn't really learn it the same way. So I'm making this motion right here to symbolize you're counting loud enough to reach your ear. Don't mumble it. Count with me. Are you ready? We're going to clap on the one and then the and after two. A one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. A one, two, and three, and four. A one, two. This is often called Charles Stan. Charles Stan. Charles Stan, yeah, one, two, and three, and four, a one, two, and three, and four. Now rewind that, practice that every day for two minutes, and you'll be amazed. You'll absorb this rhythm. Do it faster. One, two, three, four, Charles Stan, Charles Stan, one, two, and three, and four, a one, two, and three, and four. I'm going to show you some more stuff, but I just want to say really quickly, if you're enjoying this video so far and getting some value out of it, will you do me a huge favor? Smash the like button. Please click the like button. Share this video with your friends, and I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Love hearing from all y'all around the world. Thanks so much for watching. I put out content like this each and every week, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Merci beaucoup. Muchísimas gracias. Danke schön. Let's keep on jamming. Let's apply that to the chords, and then I'm going to teach you some easy embellishments that everybody can learn today. A one, two, and three, and four. A one, two, and three, and four. A two, and four. A char, stand, a two, char, stand, a two, two, two. got it. Just rewind that passage. When we place this rhythm into the tune, you notice we can do all kinds of things around the Charleston. One, two, and three, and four. Notice it's still based on Charleston. One, two, and three, and four. But I'm tapping on two, and then after the Charleston, I play and four, and. That's why it's very important to count so you really understand the rhythm. It goes like this. One and two and three and four. A one, two and three and four. A one, two and three and four. Strum, tab, up, up, down. Strum, tab, up, up, down. Up. Yes, 
let's put it all together with the chords. I can play it nice and mellow like that. And what the heck, I'll sing. A one, two, come on. A one, two, three, and four. You took the part that once was my heart. So why not take hold of me? Yep, I changed the rhythm over those last four chords because there's only two beats. It's nice to punctuate them with a slightly different rhythm.